the Raku kiln that we built here, we call it the Sumo Raku kiln. Um, actually, Kenny came up with the idea and he designed it and we worked together on it to perfect the firing. Well, the idea of the kiln, we were in Seattle and in Sika one day and I was standing there because I'm not a ceramic person, I'm a machinist by trade. <clears throat> and there was a little old lady from Canada and she was sitting there and she says, I don't do small things, I do big things. And I said, well, I got nothing but three days, so tell me all about it. Challenge was on so at that, that point. So when I got on the plane on the way home from Seattle, I told Lenny I'm going to build a big kiln. So here it is, and I built yep. this. It's 40 inches tall on the inside of the container. and 30 inch diameter. 30 inch diameter that we can do. Yeah, so. And the piece elevates. The crumbs elevate as we do uh, firing on one side. It rotates 180 degrees, and then we lower it down, and we do the reduction on the same side. The key on this kit is for large sculptural pieces, and we never have to move the piece. So it's something that's really unique in, in this kind of firing. I don't think there's anyone out there that's doing this kind of thing. And it, it proves that you don't have to use uh, tongs to get the piece out, because that's where most of the danger comes in, It's lifting the pieces out when they're hot. And these pieces are so big and heavy, you just physically can't move them. Uh, Plus you don't want to break them. Yeah. We don't want to break any pieces. So we're firing this thing up with propane, just because of the fact. We can fire it on natural gas or propane, but uh, we're going to use propane today because we're firing all the other kilns on natural gas. temperature and then what we do is raise the container up as you'll see later on these will be glowing red hot we'll rotate the containers and then as we lower them down we start feeding the reduction paper sawdust we're using some wood chips today and some eucalyptus leaves we want to create a lot of smoke and then we want to contain that smoke within the chamber <laughs> Dump it all in. Yeah. 